they've already got the prototypes they already got the spinal cord chips implanted into animals but what was crazy is they actually showed us a model of a pig who had these different pinpoints on its body that would basically show the team the muscle movement and the joints uh, in the leg, right? They basically put all these, these points in the leg while the pig had the spinal cord chip, right? They then said, we're gonna stimulate a point in its body, right? We're gonna stimulate this nerve so that the leg will move. And then when they press the button, the fucking leg moved. And when I tell you it was the scariest thing because that pig had no control over that control over him. Let me say that again. He had no control over somebody else controlling him because he was chipped up and somebody else was controlling the stimulants that were being sent to his body because of the chip. And it was just a pig right now. It was just a pig. But then they say, oh yeah, we're hoping to start human trials in six months. We're hoping to, we're hoping it starts in six months. We'll see what happens. But it's, it was with a pig right now and we're stimulating this part of his leg and it's moving, it's moving it up. You know, it's, it's tensing up and the pig didn't want to do that but oh don't worry we just it's in this box it's in a square so if the pig goes in there he knows that we're going to stimulate him if he gets out of it we don't stimulate him yeah that's that's still slavery that frightens me for the future because right now it's just a simple pig moving its leg and then you know years from now it's like yeah you know i'm i got four chips in me and uh, as soon as elon wants me to go to war i'm <laughs> It's like the ultimate MK Ultra. Literally Winter Soldier for all you Marvel fans out there. Literally Winter Soldier. Like you could just Winter Soldier someone through the typing on a computer. It's absolutely frightening the things that they showed during that show and tell. And I'm gonna get to it in its own episode, but that's where I wanna leave it. It was absolutely frightening. And not to mention the amount of monkeys who died while they were testing the, the first initial devices, like just cruelty, cruelty to those monkeys, like completely jacked their fucking minds. It says here, Elon's Neuralink brain chip test kills 15 out of 23 monkeys. That's crazy. Elon also said that if his daughter broke her neck today, he would give her the surgery to get the chips inside of her. This is someone who would literally just throw his children into the ocean if it meant saving himself because that's all he's doing he's just using them as a prop this is the reason i bring all this stuff up right at the very end of this presentation someone asked elon about the capabilities of the devices right would you be able to record sight would you be able to record sounds and he basically said like well you know we're kind of getting into black mirror world if we think about it that way but you know if there was ever a device that could potentially record memories it would probably be this one and the device will literally allow us to understand the brain and its complexities more but at what cost right now we're just guessing and we're, we're doing fine like nobody necessarily needs to know the deepness of these fucking things but yet they keep pushing 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 to where now they're trying to affect god's design and i get it there's always people who are trying to mess with god's design and that's why god gets mad right i get it elon like i said he's shown his allegiance the reason i say enslavement is because of the world economic forum now, i don't know if you know anything about the world economic forum but they got their fucking hands in everybody's pockets but there's a man named Yuval Noah who is the lead advisor to Klaus Schaub who, who started the World Economic Forum and this is what he said at one of the conferences he said we need to realize that humans are now hackable animals you can hack them literally literally what he said he said a good two-way communication system direct communication system between brains and computers this is kind of the watershed moment I mean once you have a good two-way no Nobody has any idea what happens after that. Literally talking about the connection of AI and human brains, right? He goes deeper. He talks about the ability to understand what's going on inside of you, what makes you go. The most important data is what is happening in your body today. He talks about there have been two revolutions, the computer science revolution or the infotech revolution and the biological sciences revolution. He says they're separate for now, but they are about to merge. Literally, literally said that like a couple of months ago, separate for now, but they are about to merge and they will in six months when Neuralink starts its human trials. That's that's the part that I'm trying to connect you right here. They are separate for now, but they are about to merge when Neuralink starts its human trials in six months. Now, here's another thing. Klaus was speaking at the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. And at the end, he says, what the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identities. 
Now, he doesn't see this happening overnight, but he's saying this as something that is going to happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years. And it starts with companies like Neuralink, who are already creating this chip, literally almost Mark of the Beast-like, that is going to basically function as this connector for the physical, the digital, and the biological identities that we all have, fusing them together and then enslaving humanity. That's what it feels like. I mean, if people are already talking about stuff like this, like who says we need to realize that humans are now hackable animals? Yuval Noah literally doesn't sound like a human, like a person to say humans are now hackable. You can hack them. That sounds like someone who's not human. You literally don't even sound human. What kind of person wants to hack another human being? What the fuck?